Hi guys and welcome to a video with your girl Nicole or what some people call me as Coles. Alright, so we are budgeting for next week and we are going to do that now. Whoops, let me just zoom that back in. We'll just make this a bit bigger. Alright, so next week is paycheck number 4 of June. So that's the second last week of June and also... Um, uh, we have four sources of income coming in next week. All right, coming up first is our student allowance of two forty-two. Um, we have my work, work number one, which is of six hundred. Work number two, which is another six hundred, and then my partner, which is eight hundred as well. And that comes to $2,042. Our digital expenses is going to be DTR, which is 50. And then 40. Uh, we have a buyer, which is $35.52. We have ANZ, which is 215 as usual. Print and earn, $50. After pay, oops, let me just okay. We have after pay, and that is how much is it next week? After pay is 132.27. MJ, which is 25. Let me just change this. Uh, MOJ, we have rent, which is $286. Signa, $50.25. Loans, so these are all practically digitally uh, paid. Um, and then we have NZ, overdraft of $120. An ASB overdraft of $12. Okay, I think that is pretty much it for our digital expenses. And then we have other expenses. So I do have a fundraiser that I have next week, and that's $40. And then um, the kids' bottles, which I have put the positive of $20 and have $40 left over. And let's total that up. Let's actually change this. Cool. So that's eighty dollars, which gives us a remaining. I'm changing the formula. Cool. Of nine hundred and twenty-four dollars and twenty-six cents. Yep. Let's just plate this. Oh, I am forgetting something. Yes, I am forgetting something. Give me one second, let me just copy this. I am forgetting the cash envelope. I mean, the cash flow. Okay, cool. That looks a bit more. All right, cool. Let's change this. To think it's no, that's a different. Okay, cool. Change this. Don't mind me <laughs> just changing everything. Cool. So it should be nine hundred and twenty. It leaves us four dollars and twenty six cents. That's for the actual cash flow. Delete that. And there we go. All right. So for our cash envelope, uh, the cash flow we want nine hundred and twenty. Our cash envelopes, which is like our main expenses, is going. Sorry, I keep changing a lot of things. Okay, cool. Gas and vape. Oh, what? Uh, gas and vape will be one hundred. Groceries will be one hundred. Uh, the kids will be eighty. Laundry will be 20 miscellaneous will be 40 
Nana and Lolo will be 20. And personal will be 80. Which gives us $440 total. Uh, which leaves a remaining... Oops. Uh, I guess that's... A remaining of eight hundred. Whoops. Oh, sorry. That is very wrong again. Gives us a remaining of four hundred and eighty dollars. All right. Birthdays will be. I will come back with the birthdays. Car. Everything will be five dollars. And I am changing this to health and beauty. So they're both separate. Well, except the kids savings are twenty dollars as usual. Everything else is getting Hold on, give me one second to do the expenses. Take away oops. No. All together. Okay, our crazy balance is Hold on, give me one second. I just kind of stuffed this up a bit. Okay, cool. Alright, so the crazy balance should be our total minus together. I think that's how it works. Okay, cool. So our birthdays will be 400. I'm sorry guys, I keep Changing this up for some reason. Oh, actually. Oh. Keep stuffing up the formula. I think that's just yeah. Okay, cool. Which gives me a balance of five dollars left over. I feel like something is a bit wrong here. All together. Okay, cool. Sorry, guys. All right. Um. Yep. So birthdays, I might leave it as uh. I might leave it as three fifty because I have other sinking funds as well that will be added on top of these other ones. And those are my new envelopes as well. There's six. Sorry, guys. My screen recording. Just, um. It's limit, so we're just continuing on with what I was talking about before. So I had um, the winning SJ's fifth birthday. So these are quite like long uh, term sinking funds. I got Sandra's 16th life in the future. And then lastly, graduation. So I've decided to put five in each of these as well. Um, I'll probably um ended up I'll probably end up changing it up. Okay, so that means I have twenty five dollars closing balance. So I'll add that on top of the birthdays because the birthdays this month is I mean the birthdays this uh next month is much more important. So that's three seventy five. 
and then that should give us to zero dollars close balance and then our actual closing balance should be that leftover amount of four dollars thirty that's in the bank all right guys um that was just an extra like minute or something so on top of my um screen recording um software but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy this um it took me higher because i kept stuffing up the formula but um anywho i uh, hope you guys have a great week